Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Command Creativity and welcome back to the Cells series. In this section, we're gonna start the process of building our custom online store. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, so let's log into our Cells account here and let's open up this tab that we've all been waiting for, which is the store tab. Sweet, so click on that and now let's click on customize. Great, so the first time we click on customize here, we'll be brought to this page where we have to choose a theme. Now, Cells has so many different themes to choose from, and I'd recommend to choose a theme that would best represent your business type. So what I'm gonna do is I found this one right up here, which is called Spotlight. And what we could do is demo the theme or just choose it. And in my case, I'm just gonna choose this theme. Great, so let's take a look at all the different options that we have for customizing our store. So we have three different tabs right here. We have our blocks tab, we have our design tab, and our pages tab. And all three of these options customize every aspect of how this store looks. So under this blocks tab, depending on the page that you're on, this is where you can add different elements to your store so you can customize how each page functions. So if we look at our blocks right here, we can see that all these various blocks correspond to what we can see with our live preview of our store on the right hand side. So with our banner view right here, we can see that we have text and a button. And underneath that, in our body section, we have a category list, an image with text overlay, and a featured category block. And underneath our body section, we do have the footer, which contains a block of text. So you can see every page that you navigate to will have this same layout, where we have our blocks on our left, and then the store live preview on the right hand side. Great, so now let's jump on over to the design tab. So under the design tab, this handles everything that you see visually on your store, whether that relates to styling, colors, images, typography, layouts, products, and everything else. So under here, we can choose a new theme. We can customize our branding, which handles all of our store logos and images, and we can customize the header, which is up here that pertains to our navigation. And you can also customize the banner, which is the main block of your homepage. Now the footer is also fully customizable as you can place blocks inside of there. And you can also change the colors that appear on every page. And make sure to use the folder that you can download for free on the Command Creativity Store in the PDF inside called the Main Color Scheme in the Store Essentials folder. So you can follow along with us in the next video where we'll put in all the colors and images to our site. And beneath the color section, we have our typography tab where we can open that up and adjust all the fonts used on our store. And beneath typography, we have our layout section where we can adjust all the spacing between our store content. And then we have our products and blog sections where we can adjust how our products are shown and how our blog is configured. So next to the design tab, we have our pages tab. And on this tab, we can choose which pages are visible on our cells store. All we have to do is tap on any of these toggle switches to show or hide a page. We can also choose how our pages are shown on our footer menu as well as our main menu. Also, adding a page is simple, just tap on that big gray button. Now up top here, we have two little buttons. We can preview our store and we can also reach out to cells if we do have any questions. Now I do want to show you a couple more things, so let's head back and take a look at the channel section. We can see the themes that we have or change out our theme. We can customize our blog, view settings of our store if we want to further customize how our store looks, as well as preview our store as well. So inside of the store channels menu, we have a ton of different options for customizing our store. Great, so I hope that this video gave you a pretty nice general idea about how the store customization works using cells. So in the next video, we're gonna dive into the specifics about customizing our store and implement our color palette, our images, and customize some of the pages. So I'll see you in the next video.